What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a fresh campaign for Warhammer 40,000 Heretic Mechanicus. That's right, I said it in the wrong order, we're going to be doing a very hard campaign here and you might be thinking, Hydra, didn't you do yourself a little campaign just the other day on a live stream? Yes! Well, I may have just recorded a Let's Play session and I may have died within the first few minutes or so, or rather lost a couple of tech priests, so lessons have been learned and we are going to have ourselves a bit of a blast. It's going to be part of an ongoing series and it is going to be successful. You mark my words. Lessons, as I say, have been learned and I feel like I can share a few tips and tricks along the way. In particular, this one, although it looks good, after making an attack, the unit loses one HP. This made my Mechanicus lose a whopping amount of health over the sum total of a match. So I'd be very curious about using that again, although 5% critical chance per missing HP is very, very glorious. Now, where I want to go first with these characters is I want to get a good amount of tankiness going. Now, next weapon attack, cog cost reduction, I think is one I haven't been using quite as much as I should, and I do think it's very, very good. And anything that can give you extra armor is really, really cool. So I reckon we're going to go straight for a priest of sorts down here. That's where we're going straight away, even if we only use this just to use melee attacks to begin with. Uh, we're going to rock down here, and what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this gentleman twice. So we've got one guy at least that is very tanky and robust. Now, here is a question of armor and resilience. Physical armor is good if you're getting attacked in melee, but if you're getting shot by near enough anything in this game, then energy armor is almost a little bit superior. So the question is, is this character going to be of a melee persuasion or are they going to end up being ranged? I think this character is more likely to be ranged. So for this character in particular, that two energy armor, even though there's four HP here, will add up by the time I've got other HP items and it will be pretty handy. So I'm gonna start off with the energy armor here. We're gonna stick a pistol on him too because obviously he's got some upgrade space. We're going to stick this on him here. So now he's looking pretty boss. This guy, well, we don't have any items because you know what? I've selected the opportunity. I've selected the... Uh... Oh dear, I've selected only having one item per tech priest. So this is going to make things an extra little bit more challenging for us as we can't duplicate items. So what we need to do is get ourselves another method of attack as quickly as possible. Now, this Macadendrite is actually a very good item. It's a nice one to have in the early game. Very, very tempted to pick that up. But the Curato Claw is perhaps more preferable. Conal Attack Arc Pistol is good. It is a pretty tough one, actually, for me, but I think... I'm actually going to go for the Macadendrite because the knockback and the one physical damage is pretty beast. Uh, so we're going to go for these two. We're going to rock on there and we're going to go for 5 HP. The first mission is normally pretty straightforward. We don't have to worry about it too much. So jump down on the mission, try and get in there, get some items and make it out alive. We have disabled, or I have disabled the... The countdown conundrum. So now we can basically go around, explore, and if we get any items along the way, well, we're just going to prioritize that because any extra items we get are going to be an absolute must. Now we can take some damage and get extra blackstone or get cognition. Right now, I don't really want to take damage. I don't have a healing ability yet. So for that reason alone, we're not going to brave it. Ordinarily, I'd say, well, Blackstone might be a bit nicer in the long run because you could heal up while inside the match. We'll go for the extra cog again, although the initiative value on the left probably would have been nice too, and see where else we can explore. This one looks empty, that one looks empty. We have a couple here left to do. So we're going to go here, down, basically search everywhere. I want as much Blackstone as I can get. This is the resource in the top right, if you're not familiar with the game. This allows you to buy more things. Right, so what can we do here? Awakening, take damage and awakening, or just take damage. We'll go for awakening because there was no good option there. There was no good option at all. So crack on, on to the next place. Let's see what we can do. Do I want to take damage? I'll, I'll do this, and hopefully that lowers their initiative. No, it increased it. Fantastic. But at least we got some blackstone for it because we went over cog capacity. We'll waddle down here now and see if we can get something good. 
We have our four servitors at the ready, and we have plenty of cog points left to use them. So both of these are handy. The one on the left, I believe, is better. Yeah, the one on the right was a heel. Anything with two circles, I've observed, is generally beneficial and something to be mindful of. Right, here we're going to go with our first battle. And again, I don't have a heal, aside from my ability to give me five hit points back via a canticle. So I don't really want to prioritise dying <laughs> or taking damage, because I will die as a result of it. Okay, so we're here. This one's actually going to be fairly tough, because we don't have many weapons. So what I'm very tempted to do here is run down. There's going to be an enemy that spawns here. So what I'm going to do is put my two Mechanicus here and one Servitor. We're going to bring the rest in later. Right, here we go. They're going to take a while chasing me, and that's absolutely fine. My aim is to split them up as best as I can. Right, we're going to get extra cog points by using this. A servo Skull, which is going to gather us some extra cog, fill us back up. Now I'm full now, so that's good to know. Next weapon attack cost reduction so I can use that and that applies now even if and I believe it stays with me even if I don't actually attack for three turns which is kind of handy to know I'm delaying his turn because I want this guy to run down here get into melee there's no point using the servo skull unless I want to use it to reveal statistics so I can find out who has armor and who doesn't Again, this one's going to be fairly tough for the beginning because I don't have a huge array of items at my disposal. I'm thinking this is actually a pretty tough setting, thinking about it. It's worth knowing as well that I can go on the elevator here, charge over to there, and I'll basically intercept. Right, here we go. Right, so very curious. I think what I'm going to do is put a servitor here, meaning this guy cannot move away and shoot me. He has to engage in melee. Which is good, because he'll only do one melee damage. So that'll deal some damage, at least. We don't know how much, because we don't have the information on him just yet. But we can move into melee here. And if he tries to go outside of melee, we get three opportunity attacks, which should be enough to kill him. Looks good. And now we can get some information on him, just for curiosity. It's probably not needed, I'm just going to be shooting him anyway. You tend not to find too much armour in the first mission. So abusing and taking advantage of enemy AI is a pretty big thing within this game, and if you can do it, I strongly suggest you do. I'm not going to spawn any more servitors just yet. I'm waiting for these guys to split up, which is really working in my favour right now. Really happy with that. Nice, and this guy's going to die before he gets a go. And we're going to go reveal all of their stats. Now, ideally, uh, yet yeah, we're going to just continue to beat this guy into a bloody pulp. So if I go to there now, and I manage to make it onto this platform, who's going next? He's going... Okay, I'm... Oh, but these guys will murder my two servitors, so... You know what? I think this might actually work. If we charge on here, we're going to do a little uh, servitor drop pod. Okay, it's going to be a little a little bit lackluster because one of the servitors isn't going to make it on there. Now, I have a choice of putting him on here or putting this character on. This character is my ranged one, though, which is unfortunate. I'm actually going to go to here. They're going to be shoved over there next turn. Now, this guy with his pistol is going to go. Whose go is it? His. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right up close to them and drop in another two servitors up here. So we're just going to try and bundle in on these as much as I can. Get some information on him too, so we know if one of them needs to be priority over the other. 9, 10, fine. I'll gather the cognition here, just so I've got it. That will help with the other guy's manoeuvrability. And this guy should be out of range from attacking me. Good. Two servitors via drop pod coming in. Coming in hot. Absolute beasts. Right, and now we can drop in this one and this one. Allowing us to 
do a decent amount of damage. And these guys will soak the hits for me. One or two of them may die. It will be unfortunate if that does happen, but we've got enough of them here to frontline. This, this drop pod really worked well. Thinking about your deployment is pretty handy. Unfortunately, they went side by side, meaning that this is going to be a little bit tougher to get maximal sort of surface area here, but we're going to go in and continue to smack them anyway. Unfortunately, don't have an angry machine spirit here. Right, now it might be worth going. This guy is pretty robust. He's got his two energy armor. Now I can go all the way to here, but it doesn't really help me that much, does it? I tell you what, I will do it though, because it gets me to the point where I can gather this. That yeah, looks good. Now what I can do is... Let's just see if this does use it. It does seem to use it. Okay, fine. It does seem that that ability does sort of expire. Right, move you up, move you up. So both of those servitors are going to die very soon. That's fine because I have a very decent meat shield here right now. And there's not really anywhere more productive that I can go. There is another terminal over there though. Very tempting to go down here, but i tell you what I'll do is I will... If I'd moved him one step further along and him one step further up, I would have went on that platform there, but alas, I could not. So I'd like to get to the terminal here to get the extra resources. That'd be very helpful to have. So now we get another two opportunity attacks. It's... Okay, we've got angry machine spirits now, so that's pretty nifty. One of our units will die, but we can all sort of fall into position and this should work pretty much fine. So we've got one guy with an axe here, which is perfect. I'm going to charge him right the way in. Yes, 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 glorious. And yep, that will do very nicely. I don't want my main guys to get hurt. Reason being is because it sucks when they do. What does it result in? Well, results in you having less resources. So I'm going to move this guy around to the side to attack here. Now, this guy with one hit point. If I go to there and attack, I have a slight problem in that this guy will shoot my main buck. But you know what? I'm going to put up with that for now. Because this guy does have some resistance. I've got the capacity to heal myself once. And I think what we'll do is that's going to go to here next turn. I don't think I'm going to make it to there to scan it, honestly, which is kind of my blunder for not planning ahead. So I'm going to miss out on one sort of shipment of Blackstone in this. Uh, I'm even going to make extra effort just to go as far as I can. I don't really want to get attacked by this guy for three turns unless I just shove servitors in his face. Which, to be honest, I may be able to do. We'll have a see. There we go. So this guy can now step on here, which he... Yeah, okay. So he's just going to go for a ride back to here and then to there. So this guy's going to get at least two rounds. So all in all, this is not particularly efficient. Um, I'm going to rush over to here. I don't know how many hit points this guy has. So... And if he tries to leave melee, well, I'm probably going to kill him now. So that... I may have... I may have done a bit of an oopsie here. And I, I think, you know what, we probably just want to miss on the... On this over here. I, I think we've goofed. I prioritised staying alive. And that was probably to the detriment of my... Of my units. Or my total uh, economic capacity. Right, it's going to be his go in a moment. Yeah, this guy can step on here, but that's not really of that much value, is it? This guy will die now from three opportunity attacks. I'm, I'm pretty confident of that. At least if one of them has an angry machine spirit, it's... Yeah, there we go. So that's the mission done. That's the first tutorial mission over with. Less than 15 minutes in, we've definitely got time for another place to explore. 
That's given us an extra item to use in offensive uh, offensive capacities. Right, let's go here. Good, good, good. Servitors took damage. That's fine. We paid a little bit of Blackstone to take the Servitors on the mission. So we do have 300 points now to spend. Now, obviously, we have one tanky individual here. I think it's not a bad idea to, to give this guy uh, the Macadendrite. So what that'll do is basically push back enemies and deal an extra damage. So I can go in melee, push back, and then I can move away without triggering an opportunity attack, which is pretty neat. Eventually, it's probably more worth giving that to a ranged target. Um, I, I would be pretty certain of that. So here, tech priest unit gains one physical arm. You can do that via a servo skull. It's kind of handy. It's not the best in the world. This is fairly good. Um, plus two to all tech priests for their next attack, plus two energy armor, plus two physical armor to all tech priests for one round, cooldown three rounds. That is very, very good. Rushing there is not a bad idea at all. Now, for my other character, which is looking to be... Actually, I'll tell you what, this guy could probably be a bit more range focused, so we'll make the other guy more, more melee focused. And we'll give him we'll give him some sort of upgrades to let's say complement that. Now this one's quite nice. If you don't have any cog at the beginning of your turn, you you'll get some. That's quite good. And this is this is really why I would chase down this route. Collect all cogs from one source. This servo skull is amazing to have. Having multiple people with it is not a bad idea because you can gather three in one go. It's just very very handy to have. And then cog on a kill, scanners cooldown, and finally fill the gauge completely and passive collect one point when hit by an enemy as well. So this this kind of this works out really, really nicely. Um, although there's probably there's some good melee stuff over here. And this one has some nice crit ideas kind of right down at the end. But honestly, for now, I think this is too important to pass on. Someone has to have this. So what we're going to do is we're going to invest two points here because I don't have enough items really to to pad this guy out sufficiently. So we'll go here and we'll see what we can get him. Um, I, I'm tempted by the four hit points, but honestly, if you've got one physical and one energy armor, that's, that's always going to deflect. As long as you're going to take multiple hits, it's going to work out being more effective. Four hit points is not that useful because the healing's fairly limited in this. It's it's a bit misleading or so, I think. Once you've got a few upgrades, armor, I really think, is kind of king. If you've got three of each armor, then you can really deflect some very powerful blows. At least that's how I see it currently. So we've got some other missions we can do here. We've got an easy mission here, which is probably the best one to do. Get the Curatio Claw going on, although it's very, very tempted to go for this. Um, Refractor Field is very, very good, although I'm missing weapons right now. So I think if we get the Curatio Claw and then if we go for this, get the Vanguard, get the Refractor Field, that I think is going to be much much more useful now we've got no other canticles to pick right now so we're still stuck with uh just the one ah now we have two in total hit points and extra physical damage on hit so that's cool got our squad at the ready let's go mission number two i think that's probably all we'll have time for because i want to keep this to about 40 minutes but we'll see how we do i'm feeling pretty optimistic for it Okay, so we've got a big group to explore. Aim is to try and find some items while we're down here. So anything where we can get an item. Unfortunately, there's nothing here. We'll take the Blackstone and Cog, though. And advanced exploration is what I'm using to get this information. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of the random exploration aspect. So, you know, this is, this is my preference as such. Uh, so do we want cog initiative damage i'll do i'll do cog and it'll give them a little bit of an initiative bump but that's fine uh, or awakening bump rather i can live with that we want to gather as much blackstone as we can while we're here now the downside of doing this is it does mean that the final fight will be harder but you know it's it's already really hard because it it is very hard that's the setting we're playing on and that's going to be a heal that's going to be something bad i think That'll, that'll be a heal, but we don't need a heal. But it's better off having a heal than something bad. So I really hope we can get an item from one of these two. A weapon would just be absolutely perfect. Uh, I'll take this because it will give me Blackstone. 
if you just keep collecting information it will just give you more more and more blackstone and i really want to get these guys up so they've got a decent chunk of armor and just pure blackstone this time because it should equate to more no it's 44 either way so that's fine there we go 260 so we've got a decent chunk even without completing the mission they're on three so they reanimate two turns faster that kind of sucks but at the same time we're all right loads of cogs loads of info and okay so for this mission what's useful to know is a unit will spawn up here very handy to know so we're going to put one servitor over here i'm very tempted to put my tanky melee guy around here to do a little hit and run and i think for now i'm not going to you know what i will actually spawn another servitor there you go, I'm going to spawn two of them. And I probably should have moved this guy somewhere more useful. Okay, we'll put him here. He can gather this cog at the beginning of his turn now. And I think... Yeah, we'll just send one over there. See, if I had that upgrade, I could gather three of them at once. Very, very handy. It means I can do other things like uh, gathering information. I'll wait for these guys to move forward, then swamp them. That, that is my my plan at least right okay you up here so melee guy is gonna stick I and mean, I could rush up here kill the other one I think I'll do that it's probably not the smartest thing to do I can move there next round and engage him and yeah we've got a decent amount of damage overall we can do i will start gathering some information just to know who i should be shooting with what so this guy i want to shoot with my energy pistol even though it's only a weak pistol it's still not going to be mitigated by his armor so now i could actually just put another servitor there but i'm gonna to have to wait for these guys to get round here that's my plan at least let them break line of sight themselves. And then we'll shoot them. Okay. So I can whittle this guy down over about three or four turns. Once we get an enraged uh, machine spirit, that'll help a lot. It's going to take a long time to take him down, to be fair. Right. Delay your turn. Yep, we're going to bring him up here. Okay, delaying all of their turns. They are spawning scarabs, which is kind of annoying. Because they heal units. Now, this Necron Warrior up there is going to cause some problems. But I should be able to kill him. I say he's going to cause problems. I don't really think he will, actually. I think I'm talking out of my butthole. Right, free cog here. Delay, delay... Okay, I'll shoot this guy with the Pistol of Information. It's a useful pistol, actually, because at least you know what's coming your way. Now, the Scarabs will heal them. That kind of sucks, but hey, that, that's just how it goes. And it's, there's really no point revealing his stats. I could maybe... There you go. We'll do this so he's got a 50% miss chance. Just because I think it's his go very soon. I think this guy's out of melee range. You know what? I'll gather this cog. And just to be sure, I'll actually go back out of melee range. Or, oh, sorry, go out of line of sight. Right, so yeah, the scarabs are going to heal these up. That's going to be a bit frustrating. We've got three servitors here that are just ready to go. Yeah, okay, this guy does does go first so that 50% might be really helpful nope but the armor will be down to two damage reasonable I can cope with that right delay your turn so we want these guys to ideally move another another turn forward at least right so this guy is now not going to be able to get out of melee he is stuck in a corner now And uh, we're going to do that. It's going to push him back one. Can't push him off the edge, obviously, which is unfortunate. But 
Now, I might as well use this. Gives him a free attack. Ideally, that would be a ranged weapon here, but, you know, still fine to use. And... There we go. Stocked up now. Delay, delay, delay. There we go. Actually, this I had a double initiative order. I could have moved these guys out. But that's fine. Right, we're going to rock down here. The trouble is, is the scarabs will just heal them, but I can shoot the scarabs at least, which will give them something else to do. Okay, I need this melee guy to ideally come out into the open. Ah, there we go. Glorious melee has started. That's going to generate me more cogs, but it's not really that useful right now. So what we can do now is get stuck into glorious melee. Wow, okay. Without an angry machine spirit on the servitors, they are pretty weak in terms of melee damage. That's okay. The others should be able to make it into melee range. I don't have a heal for this guy, but you know, it could be worse. Yes, finally. So he's dead. Now, how long till that guy gets up again? I'm a bit worried about that. I, I'll tell you what, though. I'll, I will get this guy moving out. So we're going to need everyone there. And I might as well... Ah, I might as well use this for free, actually. Saves me wasting one cog point. Even though I would have got one back on the kill anyway. Um... Yep, and I'm going to go right the way down here. Now, one advantage of this axe is that when it's angry, I get to shed armor. So basically, I get to take away one of those points of armor from him, which is really, really handy. Okay, so I'm going to go down here now. This is going to give the scarabs multiple targets that they need to heal. And these guys are going to have angry machine spirits soon, or enraged. Which is going to work in my favor. Right, so all is looking okay. And the servitors are now going to get another go before the next round. Unfortunately, they're, you know, they're, they're not hitting too hard. Nice. That's because only every other hit with them really does much. Ah, that's a shame. Right, so if I go to here, I can finish this guy at least. It's his turn next, although he will die from an opportunity attack anyway, so actually there really isn't any point in me shooting him. Now I can shoot. Hopefully I can get a kill on these. That's nice. That's very good. Okay. Now there's no extra intel to gather on this. I will give them a chance to miss. I doubt that gives them a chance to not heal, but well, it's worth a try, isn't it? So I think I'll prioritise the servo skull to get maximum cogs. I think that would be a very good, very good strategy. Right. And yep, this guy is not being resurrected for a while, so I just need to focus on trying to get the kill here. See that armor shred, really, really handy. Still not enough to kill this guy, but ah. Oh, unlucky. Fortunately, Servitor takes a hit, so that's really good. And I think all is going to be well. This, this guy left to go. I might as well use this just to heal him back up. It might seem like a little bit of a waste, but honestly, I think that's a good shout. Uh, what we're going to do is extra three physical damage. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. This will guarantee to kill them in one hit now. Nice. And then what we're going to do is kill this guy in one hit. Oh, he absorbs it. Of course. His armor. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. We've still got loads of servitors that can finish the job. There we go. Took a while. Took a bit of work, but we got there. Got some nice items for that. We can now heal, and that is 
undoubtedly, undoubtedly, one of the best items you can get in this. Right, and we'll go for an extra item as well. So what do we get here? Another Macadendrite that heals two with a three turn cooldown, but it doesn't use any cog to use. That's actually pretty nifty to have. It's it's not ideal in that it only heals two, but it's free. And free things in this, are, you know, it's always good to have a bit of a mix. So, a little bit of a check up on the economy here, and I think we've actually got time for one more. Awesome. Uh, so we've got ranged guy here, or, or wannabe ranged guy, who is going to be equipping some extra stuff soon. Um, you are working up here, aren't you? Cog point gained on killing a target. Right, so you're going to get this. Top priority. Awesome. And what are we going to get here? HP. Okay, there's no armor there, so I'm not in a massive rush to buy that right now. I'll tell you what might be good for him, though, is extra range for ranged weapons. That Personally, I think that's a fairly decent one. And then you can get an extra... try and chase some extra energy armor in here. Jeremiah's looking pretty tanky right now. Uh, let's just double check, though, and see what we can do with the other guy. Actually, if we, we equip this guy first. There you go, so that's him kitted out with everything he can get good right and over here we do have access to a curatio macadendrite uh, and we have the claw as well so that's worth knowing this guy needs an expensive gun to use i think my other guy was actually planning on being melee both of these will probably end up being ranged which is fine uh, yeah we're just going to chase down this tree then i i think nice we can get two upgrades as well Okay. Now I'll take the physical armor and the four hit points. It It's kind of not ideal because I'd like to stack one type of armor on them, but if they have a little bit of both, it's not the end of the world. Although, is there dodge? No, that's crit chance. If that was dodge, I'd be inclined to take it. Crit chance is quite nice. Yeah, actually, that means I can get crit chance next. I think for now we'll go for HP max. There we go. So this guy is now a little bit more kitted out. Um, he's got two more spaces. So what we'll do is we'll give him one of these. And we'll give him one of those. So I do have my free healing claw that I've not equipped yet. But alas, I don't want to ditch this. I'll tell you what, that's probably a decent trade. That's probably a decent trade right now. Mission, let's go. That gives me that self to sustain. Now, this mission's too hard for me right now. It's doable, but it, it is really hard. So I'm going to go for this one instead, a little bit more doable, and I get the Refractor Field Generator, which is a really, really powerful ability. Right, no extra canticles, fine. The reason it's so good is because it absorbs five damage from everyone around you. You know, what could be more useful than that, really? I think it's exceptionally handy. Right, let's have a look. So, let's check out down here. Right, we're going to have a good explore first. We're going to go right the way around. There, here, there, there, there. Oh, we'll miss this one, so... I think you'll miss one of these no matter what you do. We'll go for this, Blackstone. Nice. Actually, if I go there, 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 yeah, okay, that would have made more sense. I want to do a clean sweep. Don't want to miss anything, so... Come on. Run, damn you. I think you do a battle on this one, if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. Glorious battle. So we have some flayed ones to kill now. These guys are, these guys are fairly frustrating, because they're melee. They deal a bit of damage. Yes, there we are. Right, so you're going to charge at me from that side. I don't have any cog, so I'm going to sit down here at a nice, comfortable range. There we go, and I've got a nice little line of sight breaker on the right here. Nice, I like the extra generator there, that's handy. Right, so if I go to there, I should be able to get two shots off. Sadly, I have no idea how much damage that did because I didn't take the time to actually shoot him with the other one first. 
Hey ho, that's fine. Now it's worth using this cog to get out. I'll move to there so I gain one for free at the beginning of next turn. And we need to start gathering as well. Because we, we just don't have any right now. Okay. Over to there. This guy doesn't have a ranged attack right now, so he can... He might as well just sort of tuck himself in here. Actually, let's let's actually get him somewhere completely safe. So he's got two and two right now. This guy's he's tanky tanky beast mode. And he also gets a reduced cost weapon attack. So I'm thinking thinking if we give him the Macadendrite that pushes back, we can give him a heavy weapon as well, and that'll be pretty good. Alright, I'm curious what these flayed ones are gonna do. Hopefully not. Ah, there we go. There we go. Right, so there's lots and lots of Necrons headed my way. So that flayed one will at least get subject to an opportunity attack if he's coming. Ah, oh, okay, that probably wasn't the best choice I made there because now this guy's sort of guaranteed to die. Yeah, that was, that was not a great choice. And yeah, okay. I should not have gone in there to go for line of sight because I could have kept that guy alive. I, sh I do think it's worth trying to keep the servitors alive because they are your meat shield and it's even worth healing them. That's what I mean by keeping them alive. I, I think they are actually of some value. Primarily because they absorb damage. Um, right. So I can actually kill this guy here, which is not a bad idea. It's his go next. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to go to here. Do this. It's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but... Huh? Two, actually. That's more than I thought it would. Right, I'm, I'm going to use a cog, but get him back out. I, I do honestly think that's sometimes worth it. Right, so we can go to here. I'm going to use this for the free attack. So if I do this, that will knock him down. Then, what we can do is we can use this for the kill, which is kind of handy. It's the benefit of having lots of attacks per turn and not having the ability that hurts you on every single attack you do, which is nuts and really, I think, hard to manage. Okay, so we should be able to place another servitor down, or have we placed them all? I guess we've placed them all. Let's go. Ah, no, we do have one left. Glorious. Uh, I'm going to put him here. So if I put him here, he's going to get shot by this guy. Instead, I'll delay turn, allow him to move. Ah, oh, wow. I didn't think that would be within line of sight. What a scumbag. Okay. This guy's going up next. So, right, this guy needs to delay turn because I've boxed him in. Um, if I go there, I might be able to break line of sight. Either way, like I, I've got enough of a front line here where I'm not going to take a whopping amount of damage if they do get through. There's a few more Necrons coming, but I don't think all, all is lost. Right, so if I go... To here. That's perfect. I hope that did some damage. Um, let's get some information on this guy. Just so we don't waste extra resources that we don't have to. Right, okay. He's nearly dead, but that's not good enough. Right, you're fine, you're fine, and you're fine. So it might be worth me going down here and actually taking the hit from this Necron, because I can heal myself next turn. Yeah, I'll do that. 
And let's see what he's got to. 14. Okay, he's healthy. So I can go... I can actually go here and kill this guy in, in melee. Yeah, and it's about to be his go, so that kind of makes sense to do. Even though it would be nice to not have that overspill damage, I think it's still a good thing to do. And it's three turns till he gets up, so... Uh, that being said, it's still nice to finish him, so that way the Servitor doesn't have to waste an attack and we ha we don't have that sort of awkward damage overspill. I'm going to move into melee here with this guy. Eight. Okay, nice. So we did do some damage to him, actually. So that guy will probably shoot here as well. Okay. We may need to use the Canticle to, to bring this guy back up to full health because I think I've been a little bit... Um, overzealous with him. His positioning is uh, leaving a little bit to be desired, let's say. Okay, nice. This guy's two armor is absolute beast. It's really worth us keeping an eye on him, um, Minarius, because if we can keep keep that coming up, that'll be great. Right, nice. That's good. Four damage, ten health left. And we're going to go around here. How much do you have? Okay. That means we might kill him next turn. Good. And the Servitor's taking the hit for my other guy. That's perfect. Two to three damage here. Oh, that will kill my Servitor, so I, that's not really ideal. Right, so I'm going to use on this guy. Yeah, I think that was worth it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And I'm going to see if this keeps him alive. I'm not really expecting it to, but if it does, that would be amazing. And I might as well get a shot off on him. Just a bit of free damage. Right, so this guy, if I do five damage, he's dead. Yes, there we go, glorious. And we pushed him back too, meaning that we can actually go into melee with the other guy. Now we'll gather the free cog point as well on the way. Okay, that worked fine. That's fine. So, I probably will take a little bit of damage here, actually, looking at this. I can kill that with my free attack. And this guy has taken at least an extra two damage before finally finishing my Servitor. This guy's going to run away now. I think that's probably the optimal strategy there for me. Nice, and he's going to die next turn too. So I have a little bit of a plan, at least, to, to try and deal with this without taking too much damage. Um, so what if I do this? Okay, and we do that. Oh dear, okay. You've still got lots of life. How much life do you have? Oh, one health. Lol. Okay. So what I'm going to do... is I'm going to give you a poke. Stop you coming up. Hit the other guy. And then try and get out of uh, ranged attack range. Be nice if I crit him. Ah, never mind. What I can do though is heal myself. Probably not a bad idea, just to get out of range now. Does mean I've sacrificed getting this down here, but honestly, for the 40 I might gain, I'm going to lose loads of life if I do that, so I'm not in a massive rush. I've got enough cog for this guy to get him down into melee. Next turn, ah, that's perfect if they split up, that's perfect. Right, two to three. Yeah, you know what? That's fine by me.
This guy doesn't have a melee weapon though, so I am going to try and at least make this Necron work for his uh, work for his lunch, you know. Okay, might as well do that. Save the cog. Save the cog. And there we go. We're going to roll to here. I might be in his range, but next turn I'll have enough to heal myself anyway. Right, let's go. Okay, yeah, he's actually in range. Two damage as well. Cheeky blighter. Okay. Now you should not be able to see me. Never mind. Cancel that. Rip me. Rip me and my strategies. There we go. So this guy's got one hit point left. Nice. Right, that's that sorted. And we'll gather that. Then I think what we'll do is... Yeah, we, we want to heal up this guy. I don't want to have any... I don't want to not get as much black stone as I can get, so... We'll go here, heal him. Now it's his turn. He can heal himself. And we've still got enough to make it into melee. Glorious melee and kill this guy. I don't think I have an angry machine spirit though. Nope. So his two armor is going to be a pain in the butt. Yep. Not too shabby though. And I can push him back a square. Doesn't really achieve much though, does it? Let's be real here. There you go. I'll chase up though. Uh, tech priest gains physical armor. Okay, I can I can't cast that on myself. That's good to know. Nice. Ah, oh, really nice. Okay, good job. Everyone's full health. Happy enough. Shame I didn't get the console for the extra 50, but at the same time, not too bad. So we'll do a little bit of management in a sec, because I think... Ah, here we go. Um, we'll take the black stone. We'll go up to here. we got to get rid of the rest of this, but I don't think there's... Uh, yeah, that you know what? There might be another battle actually. Well, fingers crossed. If there's another battle, we may be here a while. But we have advanced exploration, so that kind of helps. We know if there's an obvious ambush. Items, please. Definitely prioritize items. I would suggest. Nice arc rifle, really good. We can give that to the guy that has the uh, cost reduction every three turns. It's a really random amount of damage, but it it's it's better than not having a good item at this point. Oh, there's a lot of things I'd much rather have had, but oh, okay, we lost cog for that. How very heretical. Got 184 in total. And that one we know is Blackstone. So up to 200. And these guys are both a bit tanky now. Not having any armour, I've realised, is such a bad thing. You want to get some armour before you go worrying about anything else, really. Um, yeah, we'll go Blackstone here. Gives them extra initiative, but as far as I remember, that yeah, there's no battle here, so... For the first few missions, it's just one fight per mission. Right. Good job. Good job. All servitors died. Mission accomplished. Good job. All the glorious things. Give it to me. Let's just have a little cheeky peek on what's coming up next time. So we've got this, um, which is single target melee attack, one to two damage deals acid damage over three turns which is kind of cool it's good for tougher targets because that that acid damage is going to oh that's this is really what we want because we get an additional tech priest so this is probably what we'll do it's still easy it's got a death mark they're a bit of a pain but let's first just go to the cohort see if we can actually afford to yeah we can do a double upgrade for someone so monsieur 
Uh, where are you? Yeah, this guy really needs one of these. And it actually, is that two? Oh, that's two equipment slots, which is really rough. Really rough. Um, and this is going to be awesome too. So this is the guy that we'll upgrade then. And we'll go for this, because that is awesome. Like, that is just a really good canticle. Every three turns, you can buff your armor out the wazoo. Really nice to have. Let's just double check we want to keep going here because we get refractor fields gain minus two cooldown and plus two field defense. You know what, actually, because that's exactly what this is, that's a two turn cooldown and it absorbs seven damage. Like, that is just exceptionally good. Um, hit points and movement or HP and crit? I think we'll go for HP and movement for now. HP and movement, it's extra HP. Crit chance is nice. We'll go crit chance. <laughs> I want to do more damage. Right, now what are we going to swap around to make him more effective? Because we could get rid of the power axe. The power axe has been doing really good for us, though. Right, that's two slots filled. That's the final glove. I don't really want to ditch the macadendrite, too, but the refractor field technically, I think, is going to be more effective than the macadendrite. If you look at what it does, I'm almost tempted to ditch the glove and keep this. I think that might actually be a viable thing to do just for the moment until we can upgrade him again. Because he, he's not got too far to go. He's going to go. He's going to get this next. Like, this is really high priority for me because this is so, so damn useful. Um, meanwhile, we have Douchebag over here where we forgot to buy this, which is going to turn around and bite me in the bum. So I don't have that anymore, but... Oh, has he already got it? Maybe he's already got it. One thing that would be really handy is being able to actually... How do I phrase this? Visualise what armours there are in advance. Because I don't actually know if... Like, this one's got loads of energy armour. I have to buy a skill first and then check it out. It would be nice to know because if I want to stack a guy up with loads of armour... Which is basically what I'm hoping for this guy. He's only on one and two, but you know, if we can get that even higher, all the better. Like I'm fine with him being a front line. I'm not even sure what he is now. He's some sort of front line melee shooting thing. He doesn't even have the melee anymore, but I, I, yeah, I don't know what he is, but he's awesome. Guys, have yourself a great day. Look after yourselves. We'll be continuing this campaign next session and hopefully not dying too soon, but still getting a little wiser as we go. So uh, we'll see if we can continue the trend. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you in episode two.